What is going on, everybody? A few more days left. We are getting down. We are getting down to the wire um, of the NFL 2022 NFL draft. A few more days, guys. That's it. It's Monday. Got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Three more days until the draft. So there's going to be a crap ton of the rumors coming out this week. It's going to be crazy. You know, don't believe everything you read, but, you know, be excited about this draft. I got a good feeling about this draft. I feel like we're going to be making some moves in this draft. I'm pretty pumped. I'm pretty excited. I hope you guys are, too. Um, And uh, we'll be ready. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, me and Philly 500 will be streaming from both channels those three days. Um, And that's, yeah, that's the way it's going to go. The way it's going to go. So. We'll be ready to go. What's going on, everybody? Alex, uh, what's going? What's going on, Alexis? Ryan, what's going on, man? I said three more days till Armageddon. I will say so. It appears to be seeing Kadarius Tony getting traded. It's just a rumor. It was announced Kadarius Tony is already at the Giants' training. I mean, it doesn't. That doesn't matter. I mean, that doesn't matter if he's in the facility or not. I mean, you could still be in the facility. And I mean, we traded Zach Ertz, and he pretty much played with us and practiced with us. So, I mean, I think it's uh, it doesn't really m- mean anything. Uh, yo, Jay, what's going on? Um, he was a Lance, is Stingley or Williams. We need to get one of them. I think it's Stingley Williams or getting uh, Garrett Wilson as well. I think Garrett Wilson's in there. I think Jermaine Johnson is in those talks as well in the top 10. So I think those are a few. Kayvon Thibodeau is definitely another one, which I don't think he's going to last till 10, but we'll see. Travis Stingley, such a question mark. Like, we don't know if he could go. Giants may take him at seven or Seahawks can at nine. Vikings also him at 12. Yeah, I don't know if the Seahawks go for a corner this year. I don't, I'm, I don't see it. They got, they got, they need way too much help offensive line. They need a quarterback. I mean, they're a rebuilding team right now. So, I mean, they can go a totally different direction with the Seahawks, but definitely another trade up candidate um, for Seattle, if that's the case. Let me put this stream up real quick. I thought the Sixers were playing early today, but they're not. They're playing at 9, I think 9 o'clock. No, 8 o'clock today, 8 o'clock, yeah. I had to check that out real quick. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Tyler, what's going on? Sauce is going to be a top five pick. It's a long shot. We get him. Um, I just don't see uh, Jets passing up on him at four. Yeah, I don't know, dude. It, it, they're trying to trade for a wide receiver right now. So they could go wide receiver at 10. They can go wide receiver at four. I mean, I don't know. They need offensive line help. They can go Neil. They can go Equanu, whatever the other guy is. They, there's two offensive linemen going to be available. So we'll see. Uh, Brad, what's going on, man? Draft this week. Zay says agreed, Tiger. However, I think have an ammo to trade up and snag him. Yo, Philly Sports Talk Podcast. What's going on, man? Yeah, tomorrow, me and Philly Sports Talk Podcast, I'll be on his channel tomorrow night uh, at 9 o'clock Eastern. So uh, looking forward to looking forward to talking with you tomorrow night, man. Should be a lot of fun. Brett says, what uh, better, pizza and wings, draft night, or Chinese food? Pizza and wings, man. That's the best combination. And with a Diet Coke, why not? Yo, Clark, what's going on, bro? Rounds it, what up? Mr. Shakes, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm excited for what we're going to do this week. Rounds it, what up, Joey? Three days. Three days till the draft. Pretty pumped. Um, David, what's going on, man? RJ says, uh, you're not going to have no voice? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. I, I doubt it. We'll see, though. Uh, Jab says, you think... Um, who you think? Okay, we drafting. I don't know, dude. It depends where they move up. If they move up to six, they move up to ten, they move up to nine. I mean, it just depends. I think they have a lot of interest in um if for the 15th pick, I think they have a lot of interest in moving up for either Kayvon Thibodeau, Sauce, Stingley, uh, Garrett Wilson, or Jameson Williams. Now, there has been some news about Jameson Williams popping up that he could be the from Todd McShay, that he could be the prime target for the Eagles. Seems like the Eagles have a lot of interest, which I think he's a big sleeper pick for the Eagles as of right now. But it kind of makes me worry that news comes out like this to think that usually when they talk about something way too much, it means that it's probably not going to happen. So I'm not I'm not really sure. Uh, But my pick for the my pick for 15 is getting sauce Stingley or getting Garrett Wilson or um, Garrett Wilson or Jameson Williams. I mean, either or, I'd be I'd be happy with it. Just goes to Jameson Williams, our guy, and Stingley. Let's hope. J- Jason, what's going on, man? What up, Joey? What's going on, man? Hope you're having a good day, bro. Uh, bleeding, uh, bleed green, uh, Eagles green zero two three says, "What up, Shakes? What's going on, bro? How you doing, man? 
Benny says, Joey shakes my brother from another mother. Are you ready for your for your hype? Let's do thing, bro. Dude, I'm pumped. I'm pumped about it, man. It's one of the most exciting drafts, but honestly, one of the most terrifying at the same time. Because really, at the end of the day, like Howie has so much flexibility in this draft. Not only of the two first round picks, you got two thirds, you got three fifths. They're not using all these picks. I think you have a six and two sevenths. So they got a lot of flexibility in this draft. Clark says, Pat McAvey says, confirm the Jets are taking a receiver at 10. Yeah, they might. They've, they're trying to trade for Debo Samuel, but it looks like the, the 49ers might hold on to him. I think they want two first-round picks for him. Um, and teams trying to trade right before the draft for two first-rounders. I don't know if it's going to happen, but you know we'll see. Ron says, great show with Boys for Life, man. I really enjoyed it. I'm from Dallas, so it was cool to see the point of view along with yours. Oh, yeah, me and me and Boys for Life are good friends. Um, we have each other's numbers and everything. Like, we uh, we talk a lot in the offseason and stuff. So, he's a cool guy. One of the coolest uh, Cowboys fans I ever met. So, it was fun. Uh, Brad said, what a what what time day two? What does uh, – what when does – what time does day two start? What is it, like 11 – what is it, like two or – it's like mid-afternoon. It's not night, but it's like mid-afternoon. I forgot when it starts. We agreed to too. What position is biggest need for the Eagles? Realistically, biggest position of need, it's it's really corner and safety. I mean, those are your two spots. You have a number two corner that you need. You need a you need a in the box safety right now, like pretty badly. Or a free safety, whatever you want to do. George says, What is going on? What's going on, George? Mike said, I think Wilson is the pick. Uh, all talk about Jameson, but it's smokescreen season. Wilson wants to be a bird. Let him do just that. So I feel like if if they don't get a safety within the first couple rounds. This Tyron Matthew thing is looming in the background right now. So maybe we'll find out a little earlier if they are acquiring him. I don't know um, because there's been no news on Tyron Matthew. It's been very quiet. So there's only a few days left. I mean, if nothing happens this week then or on draft day, which I totally doubt it's going to happen. Um, I mean, that'd be cool if they actually sign him on draft day. That would be a really cool extra thing to talk about too while we're you know live streaming the draft. But it should be a lot of fun. George, I'd rather get Jameson Williams or George Pickens. Um, I wouldn't reach for any other receiver. I mean, I don't think Garrett Wilson's a total reach. I mean, I think I think Garrett Wilson's going to be really good. I mean, this guy is a beast, and plus, he wants to play for the Eagles. And they didn't bring him for a pre-draft visit, but I don't think it. I don't think it really matters because you have to take these pro days into account too, because the Eagles talk to Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave at their pro days for a good 15, 20 minutes. So they might not bring them in for, uh, you know, pro, uh, you know, pre-draft visits for those reasons. Cause they kind of talk with them a little bit already, which is pretty cool. Alex says, uh, can I jump on? Uh, Dylan says, Wilson's the most complete receiver in the draft. It's not even close. I like Garrett Wilson a lot. Uh, Tyler says, there is a report the Eagles are prioritizing defensive end and wide receiver. I think they may prefer wide or Davis because of that versatility of play both defensive end and defensive tackle. Well, J Davis, I don't think, plays defensive end and defensive tackle. I know why it does. Davis is just going to clog the hole, take on double teams, and in a 3-4, be a nose tackle, be disruptive. So I feel like Jordan Davis uh, might be the pick here. I Look, if they pick one of those defensive tackles from Georgia, I'll be happy. I will be happy, um, you know, so those pretty much the pick that I've wanted pretty much since the first day of the offseason is like Devontae Wyatt, Jordan Davis um, at 15 or 18, whatever it's going to whatever it's going to be. Oh, so I'm very nervous and excited for the draft. No, that dude, it's a normal feeling. You know what I mean? Pete says, hey, Joe, you ready for that corral jersey? Let me tell you something. I haven't got a corral jersey yet. Okay, whatever the hell that rumor is with Philly 500 talking about all that crap about me getting a jersey, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, guys. And if, you know, even if it does happen, like the only reason that's going to happen is so he doesn't get drafted. It's it's juju at the end of the day. So we got Super Chat from Zay Boogie. What's going on, man? He says, Joey, I'm willing to pay uh, to have you and 500 in the draft war room with Howie to ensure a safe draft. I'll even throw in an Umbrella Man shirts. <laughs> Yeah, right. I don't know, dude. I would love to be in that warm. I would love to be in the fly, the fly on the wall in that conversation. I would love it. George said, "Do you not see that Oregon game from who? For what? For what player?" Dylan said, "Look at Wilson. Uh, Wilson on routes, his digs, moving on post, release off the line is about the same as a lot of it. But everything else, Wilson has everything else beat aside from speed. Jameson Williams. Yeah, I definitely agree with that." 
Brian says, can we trade for DK Metcalf? As of right now, probably not. I'm not, you know, I, I think that's, I think the ship has sailed with trading for a veteran wide receiver. I think it's done. I think we have to deal with, what we get, you know, and how he talked about, and this is what Philly 500 brought up the last, when we were on the shakedown last stream, which I th thought it was pretty interesting. Um, talking about long term. So he said, we have, we've have had a lot of discussions, a lot of good discussions about the players in this draft. We just have to make sure we take the best players and not look at the draft as a, just a short term fix. They don't want the draft is not a short term fix. If it's a long term fix, they could be taking a guy off an injury. They could be, you know, this could be a quarterback too. I mean, you, you never know what this means in a lot of different ways, but it's kind of scary. But at the same time, you know, you got to be cautious what you're doing. Uh, Benny Boom, what's going on? It says it's about to go down. How he's going Eagles Nation by moving up to the first to get sauce. If they get sauce, I'll be I will I will freak the hell out. They haven't drafted a first round cornerback since like early 2000s. I mean, it's been that long. Um, I mean, Sidney Jones was supposed to be the first round pick uh, instead of Derek Barnett in that 17 draft, but obviously we had to we were trying to take a chance on him. George said, okay, no, agree, to, agree to disagree. Brad says, Chargers might ha uh, move up in front of us for Jordan Davis. They're looking for DT. Yeah, it could happen. Dylan says, I love uh, Olave, but Wilson just has something he doesn't, bro. I don't I don't know. Like, I think Wilson is is more of a all-around better receiver than Olave. Not saying Olave is going to be bad, because I think he's going to be really good in the league. I think guys are going to use him on those short, area, those short area passes that give him big chunk yards. They're going to use him in the red zone. But Wilson is an all-around great route runner. Um, he's got speed. He's got hands. I mean, he's got everything you want. So I'm pretty pumped about it. Uh, Kari says, exactly. Uh, Eagle Slayer, what's going on, man? Robert Jones says, what's your opinion? Do we see us trading up to three or four to get sauce? That's going to be tough. I mean, if you move up to three or four, you're going to be giving up a lot of draft capital. I don't know. You might be giving up your first and second round picks. I mean, I don't know if they move up to the Texans pick. The Texans have been doing their homework on Stingley and sauce as well. So if they take sauce, it might be over. It could He, he could go top three. It could actually could actually happen. But the Giants at five, I don't know. They could take Stingley. They could take, um, you know, Sauce is probably a big one there. Uh, uh, Kayvon Thibodeau is definitely a big one there. They need defensive end badly. So Dylan says, Wilson, game translates to NFL better than anyone else. Blee Green says, if they take a QB, you have to wear his jersey just for the views. We know it'll, it will eat you up. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I don't know. If I was to wear a jersey, it would be that jersey just so he doesn't get picked. You know, kind of do like a, you know, a, you know, it gives like bad juju towards uh, Howie picking Matt Corral or something like that. You know what I mean? The card says Wilson and Olave are the same wide receiver. It's just that it factor that Wilson has in abundance over Olave. Thomas, if you had to put money on who the Eagles will draft regardless of training up or down, who you say they will select in their first pick of the draft? As of right now, I think they trade up for a cornerback. I think they're trading up for a cornerback if I had to choose and then go get one of the defensive tackles from Georgia with 18. I think that's what they're going to do. Philadelphia Eagles fans, too, said, Joey, what would you think if the Eagles were the draft Jaquan Brisker, Jaquan Brisker in the 18th? I don't know if that's too much of a reach, man. I really don't. Like, Kyle Hamilton, I'm starting to, I'm starting to go away from Kyle Hamilton a little bit and saying, man, Brisker could be a late first-round pick. Daxton Hill from Michigan could be a big one. Um, you know, uh, Petre from uh, Baylor is a good one. I mean, there's there's some really smoke Monday in the third round. I mean, it, it'd be interesting. So if they get a safety pretty early, I could say that you know Tyron Matthew probably won't be here. You know what I mean? It probably probably won't happen. Uh, Simon says, "Do you think Sauce has the same amount of hype as when Ramsey was drafted?" I think there's more hype around. I don't know. I think there's more hype around Sauce. To be honest with you. I love his attitude, though. We need a dog, man. That, that guy's a dog mentality-wise. He thinks he's the best player in the draft. I love that attitude. Randy, uh, what's going on? Says, what's up, Joey? Saying you positive vibes for Thursday's draft. Much love from uh, LeDuc, Alberta, Canada. Appreciate it so much, Randy. Akari says, well, I want to trade up for Troy Anderson if he's there at the beginning of the third round. Other eight Nate says, opinion on Drake London. Personally, I like him. I don't. I don't. I don't think he gets separation. That's just the issue with me. Uh, I just think there's too many good receivers that don't have to be. You don't have to get a contested guy. Contested. I look. I think he has one of the best hands in the draft. Don't compare him to Mike Evans because Mike Evans was in a harder conference than he was. So I wouldn't compare him to Mike Evans, which everyone is. 
Plus he's, a, plus he's a USC receiver, and I just get bad vibes on it. I don't know. He could be he could be a steal of the draft. You never know. But I've seen a lot of mock drafts with the Eagles taking uh, Drake of London. Yo, Suho, what's going on, man? Robert says, man, only if Miami would uh, have gave us at least top six pick, we would be in business. Yeah. They kind of screwed us last year. Miami won eight, nine games straight, and we're like, dude, we didn't expect them to play this well. We didn't expect them to play that well at all. Um, Silver uh, says, everyone, please understand the draft comparison and other drafts in the subpar. The drop-off talent after pick 18 is huge. I think, seriously, just trust the front office this year. Come on, Howie. You know what's interesting about this draft? Like, I am so interested to see this second round is going to be crazy. Like, I want to see if the Eagles actually get another second-round pick. If they trade back 18 or they use some of these other picks to get another second-rounder, I mean... I would be really happy. Um, a lot of talent in the second round, even a little early in the third round. I mean, I'm, I'm actually interested to see the second and third round. So for day one and day two are definitely – day two is going to be really interesting. going to be really interesting. George says, uh, tape the, of highlights. I feel uh, like you guys just be watching highlights. Uh, Speed says, Joey, have you have heard it? Uh, heard of It Woods? Uh, Marshall said, what's good, Joey? Am I low-key nervous about this draft? Hope Howie doesn't fumble these picks. I don't, I don't either. I think from coming off a really good draft last year, if Dickerson worked out, and he did, I think I turned to an A-, minus A-plus draft, in my opinion. Um, but he has more flexibility, so we'll see what he see what he grabs. Philly Sports, I want A.J. Brown, but uh, what will it cost? It's going to cost probably multiple first-round picks. I don't doubt it. I mean, I don't think it's going to happen either. I know Jalen Hurts and A.J. Brown are working their tails off together, so we'll see. George says they both are good players. Nobody is super ahead of anyone. That's all I'm saying. Wendell Larry says, do you think we would have a trade to trade up for Williams? Oh, yeah. hundred. Oh, for, for Williams? 100%. Yeah, you'd have to be in the top 10. I think Jameson Williams and uh, Jameson Williams and Garrett Wilson will be top 10 picks. That's that's what I think. And I think and for so far, what we're hearing around the league is that eight receivers will be taken in the first round. So, Bain says, I don't trust any receiver from the Pac-12. Yeah, and that's definitely an uh, eye-opener as well. Uh, tape, why judge highlights if you want the full pick of someone's talent? Uh, Ron says, I hope we get one more second rounder. Man, that would be – if uh, look, if that Eagles-Saints trade, if they were able to pull off like another second-round pick, that would have been an A-plus trade. It was an A-minus trade, in my opinion. Getting an extra third-round pick was huge, uh, but – if they're able to get another second round pick without giving up the second round, another second rounder, that would be perfect. You have 51 right now. You can hopefully, hopefully move up. Even if they move up 10, 11, even if they move up like 12 spots, I think we'll be in a good, uh, a good zone. Josh says, Joey, did you see the report? The Eagles are targeting Jameson Williams. Yeah. So that's what I'm hearing, but I don't like the sound of that just because the more they talk about it, the more I think it isn't going to happen, and it would suck if they don't get Jameson Williams. Just depends who they're really aiming for. Uh, Robert said, "I have a dream scenario. We trade up, uh, trade up top second round for Brisker. Uh, Pickens takes second round pick at fifty one. Take Ojaba. What you think? I'd be totally fine with that. I'd be totally fine with that." Andre said, "What is your dream scenario going into the draft? Dream scenario is pretty much going, moving up for taking the fifteenth pick, moving up for Sauce." Um, or Saw Stingley or Jameson Williams taking 18, either staying at 18 and drafting um, drafting Jordan Davis or Devontae Wyatt or trading back into 18 for an extra second rounder and getting Pickens and like Daxon Hill or Jaquan Brisker. I mean, that's that's what I would love to get, but I don't know if it's going to happen or maybe going in the second round, getting Christian Harris or getting um, uh, what's his name? Uh, the linebacker from Wyoming. I, I really do like too. The guy that was a linebacker from Wyoming. That's just a, a madman on pass rush. Uh, Speed Eagle says, I mean, JT Woods from Baylor. Yeah, JT Woods would be a good one, too. It's a lot of good players, man. Rollins, what's up, Joey? Uh, aside from quarterback picked up in the first round, uh, what was you? Uh, what would give you a meltdown during Eagles draft? Probably getting Drake London, getting Trent McDuffie. Um I mean, that's really it. I mean, unless it's something like totally like that's a total reach where like they could have gotten this guy later down the line. I mean, that's pretty much it. Or getting a, a running back pretty early would probably be pissing me off as well. So 
Uh, Raw B enthusiast says draft is stacked with talent because of the extra year of eligibility. Talent all over undrafted free agent pool will be good. Oh yeah, that will be great too. And the Eagles are pretty good at the undrafted free agent pool too, man. There, I mean, T.J. Edwards was undrafted. Um, Jack Stahl was undrafted. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of good players that that you know, we we pick up some good players from that undrafted free agent pool, so we're usually good at that. So I said, with the Giants in shambles, I'm scared they will take Wilson or Williamson. They're still laughing at the Kadarius Tony situation. I don't know why they'd give up after a receiver after one year. I don't know why they'd give up after one year. So, Bear Bud said, am I the only one to hype for second or third round? No, you're probably not, dude, because this is actually the second day is going to be actually really exciting. So a lot of talent that should be – there's some talent that should be first-round picks, but because of just what's in front of them right now, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. Because I still believe if we can't get Wilson or Williamson or Sauce – you must attempt to get Stingley. I feel like they have to. I don't know where Stingley's in the land. I really don't. I wish I had the answer where Stingley's in the land. I really don't know. Like, I don't care if his pro day looked good or not. Can he still be that, you know, that cornerback from his freshman year in college? Because he was the talk of the town when after his freshman year. And then, obviously, with the injuries and just not really being the same as much. But um, I'm hoping there's something there. I don't know if the Eagles – the Eagles didn't bring him on a pre-draft visit. So, I don't, I don't know how much interest they actually do have in him. They brought Booth in. They brought sauce in so they brought in a trade-up candidate and sauce they brought in pretty much a guy that could be sitting there at 15 18 in boot so Wayne said usc receivers are, are the same as ohio state quarterbacks when they get into the nfl terrible philly sports said would you trade back uh would you trade hold on there it is um would you trade back for Jahan? i would uh i would do that in a heartbeat oh Jahan dotson the wide receiver from penn state the deep threat i like him too I really like him a lot too. I mean, they had a crap quarterback at Penn State the past few years, and like a lot of he could have had better stats. I think he's really good. Chad Muma, thank you, Chad Muma. I, I did a, I did a, I did a channel membership on him the other day, and I love this tape. I don't think he has coverage ability, but I think maybe that's why he's dropped in the draft because of his coverage, his tackling is a plus. I mean, he's a block shredder. I mean, he's just absolutely amazing when it comes to blocking. Um, Zay says, I know we're hearing about all the intel in the Philadelphia might uh, do, but to be honest, I believe most of it, not all of it is our smoke screens. George, I never said a lot of it was the best year. Somebody said Wilson is way better than everyone in the draft. Antonio Holmes says a trade, a minus trade. One more could Howie have gotten for what he gave up. He got an extra first and a second for all the season you were asking to trade and get. I think it's an a, I think it was an A minus trade because they got an extra third rounder out of it. They got an extra third. I mean, the seventh don't mean much, but the extra third rounder is huge because that's that's ammo that they could trade for moving up or trading back. Do you know what I mean? So I think it's I think it was an A minus trade in my opinion. Dylan says because uh, Wilson's the best receiver in the draft. We agree. It says I'm a fan of Jermaine Johnson. I think he's attainable. No, I think he's definitely attainable. Hundred percent. He could move from eight, from he could be a top ten pick. He could be from eight to twelve maybe. Jermaine Johnson uh, was a Georgia transfer from Georgia to Florida State and, and just was a total beast. So, yeah, Chad Moom is a linebacker. Right, right. Yeah, I was talking about I was talking about Christian Harris. I wanted to see the guy from Wyoming I was looking at, uh, the Chad Mooma from Wyoming. Uh, Rose is uh, laugh out loud. Philly 500 answered my meltdown question. I was saying that Drake London would do it for him. <laughs> Kari says, uh, no Wilson, the two, uh, two or three best wide receivers in this class, but he's just healthy, so he goes first. Yeah, I mean, that might be the, that might be it, but the Eagles are taking advantage of this situation with Jameson Williams be coming off an injury right now. He's going to be running by the draft. He'll be ready by training camp. Guys, I wouldn't mind if they drafted Jameson Williams, I would sit him the whole year. I'm not even kidding. I would sit him most of the year. I wouldn't say maybe the whole year, but they could put him on IR to like week eight to week 10. I would honestly do it. I really would. Like, I feel like this kid is going to be him and Devontae Smith with Dallas Goddard. And, oh, man, I mean, he would be fantastic uh, opposite of uh, Devontae Smith. Thor says, if we take Linderbaum early, would you be mad? Uh, kind of, probably. Yeah. I just don't think it's something they should. I mean, look, we have Kelsey this year. It is what it is. I saw that Nate Herbig signed his tender. Uh, he signed his tender, so he is on, so he is coming back which is good, so we have depth at guard at both sides. They say if Rager gets extended on draft night, it will ruin the draft for me. No, it definitely won't happen. Dylan says that I'd be more happy than Wilson Williams or Olave. Those are guys are special. Oh, yeah, I love all three of those guys. I'd be fine. I'd be totally fine with all three of those guys. 
Chris says, I've given so many different draft scenarios for the last month. My final pr uh, draft prediction is uh, Williams, Stingley, Ojabo, Winfrey, and C. Harris will have two extra seconds. Jared says, Joey, do you think um, Joey, do you think a QB will go top 15? I feel like someone's going to reach for one. I feel like there might be one that's taken. I could be wrong, but I feel like one will get taken by 15. We'll see, though. Because you guys probably thought Rager was a good pick when he got draft. Not listen to someone who is a follower. Uh, I for the draft. Oh, I mean you too, Corey. Don't say if we uh, land, land Williams and Stanley, I'll shit you, Rick. Oh, and but what do you mean both and both of them? I mean, yeah, I mean that'd be great. I mean that'd be a good first round. And then I would think they're going defensive line in the second round if they weren't that that uh, they're going to get that defensive tackle from. Uh, they're gonna get that. Uh, they're gonna. Get, they might get Travis Jones. They might get the defensive tackle from Oklahoma. They might get the defensive end that equal. I can't. I keep can't. Say, I can't say his last name, but the guy from Penn State. I mean, there's there's plenty of um, candidates in the second round they can go get for defensive line. Uh, uh, Dice analysis: AJ Brown, Jordan Davis, Christian Harris, Coney. Uh, Mark J. What up, Joey? What up, fam? Anything exciting happening? Nothing today, but I mean, look, the draft is a few days away. I mean, Jameson Williams has been the talk of the Eagles having a lot of interest in him right now. Kobe Bryant's another one that I've been looking at, too. Yeah. Rand says, Joey, would you trade picks 51, 101, 166 for either first rounder or two, two third rounders? A first rounder for what? You're talking about a first round for another first rounder? I mean, you could do that. I mean, you could get another first rounder if you want, but I, I wouldn't mind trying to get another a second round pick. I mean, if you want to trade for, yeah, I don't know, dude. I probably wouldn't do that. I'd probably try to get another second rounder, to be honest with you. Go Eagles. Uh, 99 says, Tom McShay is reporting the Eagles' preference is Williams from Alabama. I'm, I'm hoping so, bro. I'm hoping so. So many receivers got hurt. Eagles gang said, I'm feeling good about this draft. I think we will trade up for Stingley. Eh, they could. Calvin Brown said, nobody wants Burks. I don't know. I don't think that's the case, dude. I think, I think it comes to his route running, like his route. I think he'll just get better. Uh, but I think overall he's a good receiver. I I, I would trail him Burks at uh, 15 to 18 is a good pick, too. I think he, he I think that's where he should go. Antonio says, what happened to us taking uh, defensive tackle Georgia defense? I'm saying what the Eagles might do. I'm saying what the Eagles might do. If they take receiver, defensive tackle, cornerback, defensive tackle, I'm totally fine with it. Because to be honest with you, um, if they want to go after receiver in the first round, go ahead. But I think they can go after receiver in the second round to be a nice number two. I think there's plenty of guys in the second round. George Pickens is definitely on my list. Alec Pierce is on my list. Um, even Wandale Robinson in the third round is on my list. You know, I mean, there's a lot. Jahan Dotson. I mean, there's so many receivers in the second round. You don't have to reach for one because you don't need a number one guy. You already have that number one guy in Devontae Smith right now, but they probably want to load up on weapons. George said Wilson is definitely a first round receiver. Chris said, don't be surprised if we trade 10 and take Stanley. Then at 15, if Williams is gone, we trade back for 29-30 with Casey. I also think we trade Dillard in a third to get back in the second. I mean, yeah, Dillard might be a trade ship in this draft. I mean, don't be surprised to add Dillard in because he's he's very cheap. He only costs like three to four million for the year. So it's really not that much. Um, you know, I think I thought he played a few games when he went in for Jordan a lot of this past year. He played pretty good. You know, he played solid. So Brad says uh, they draft Carlathis, McDuffie, uh, London, Linderbaum. I'm raising hell. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be happy with any of those players. Linderbaum, maybe, out of all of them. But being great, I think the worst thing Howie can, can do is uh, uh, take a skill position player early. I feel like there's depth at wide receiver and cornerback, even though Sauce would be a good pick. I don't think there's depth at wide receiver, bro. I mean, who? I mean, you got Greg Ward, maybe, like that doesn't get any playing time. JJ's moved to tight end now. Um, they need more competition at wide receiver. I mean, I, look, I agree with not drafting one early. I, I mean, even though I would love them to draft one early, I know it's probably not the right thing to do. I think they should go for George Pickens or Jahan Dotson or, you know, uh, somebody in that second round. I don't care who it is. George Pickens might be a prime pick for the Eagles in the second round if that's where they want to go. But at 51, it's definitely not going to happen, though. Dodgers, did you see the Eagles trying to move up to get Kayvon if he slips? Oh, they could. I mean, they they could. I would. That's That's definitely another name to watch going down the board, so. Mars says, Joey, who are you picking um, uh, for first three picks? Get you a GM cap on, son. I'm picking – I'm moving up for Sauce with the first pick. 
Then at 18, I'm getting one of those Georgia defensive tackles. Then the second round, I'm getting either safety. I'm getting probably a safety or a linebacker, really. I mean, that's what I would definitely want. Um, I'll be, I'm going uh, Jaquan Brisker, uh, you know, I mean – Daxon Hill, you can go betray, and then you can go at linebacker Christian Harris. They brought in for a pre-draft visit. I mean, Chad Moom is there. I mean, there's there's plenty of players there you can get to build your defense. So, George, the Eagles would have already made a trade by now. Um, can't say enough uh, about the defensive line. Robert says, I took vacation days Thursday and Friday for the draft. So pumped. Dude, I'm glad that you're off. Car says take a Brand Smith from Penn State and let uh, let him play linebacker. I think the one thing about Brand Smith that uh, that annoys me a little bit he's got a lot of missed tackles. Tackling is not great. He's got a physicality, you know. He's got a lot of physicality, but his his missed tackles kind of kind of annoys me a little bit. He was going to say my draft predict trade trade up to ten and draft Derek Stingley. The 18th pick will be Devontae Wyatt. Second round George Pickens. That'd be perfect. That's what I would totally love right there. I would not mind it. Would not mind it whatsoever. No problem with that. Brett says, I had a nightmare that the Eagles drafted London and McDuffie. Yeah, I would be really pissed off. Barry says, I hear we're in for Jameson at 15. That's what I'm hearing. It's been all over Twitter today that it could be all over Jameson Williams. So don't know how much true how true it is going to be. Uh, but you know, we'll see. We'll see. I know the Eagles are working out today for the uh I know the Eagles are working uh they're at the Novacare working out today, so Uh, Ken says the problem with getting Williams and sit them, they need to get another receiver at some point. They will. I think they will. You know, easy money's in the building. The man of the hour. Jake's in the new Matt Corral jersey. I haven't got a jersey yet. So, you know, it's it's Tuesday. You know, there's what is was it Monday? Is it Monday or Tuesday? It's Monday. Yeah, I haven't got one yet. So I think it's all BS, bro. I don't think it's I don't think it's happening. Isaiah says big fan of Martin Emerson as a mid round cab target. Uh, live with George said we would have to trade up for Williams. He's going top 10. Yeah, Williams or Garrett. I think Garrett Wilson or Williams, are, I think they're going top 10 regardless. Um, Alan Banks says, I think the Eagles should ask a YouTuber like you or Philly 500 uh, to announce one of the picks. I could see y'all doing that. <laughs> oh, I could see Philly 500 doing it. That would be a lot. That would be a lot of fun. Ray says, Joey, you hearing what we are hearing that the Panthers or Jags want to trade up? The, should we make a move? The Jaguars are trying to trade. I doubt that, dude. I doubt they're going to trade up. Um, the Panthers, I could see them trading back 100%. A lot of teams are going to want to trade back. Panthers need picks for next year. They need a lot of picks. That's the problem. So, Jumping Coach says, Alon, the owner says, got crypto holders, get ready. I saw that. Elon Musk is a new $45 billion, What was it? $45 billion or $45 million? I forgot how much it costs for Twitter. It was crazy. Either much, Joey Matt Corral, strong arm, the number one picture of Lawrence. He's going first round. Question is just here. Awesome. We got a new Shake Squad member in the Shake Squad army. We got Carter the Real. What's going on, man? Uh, he's of the Shake Squad soldier tier. Thank you so much. We've been doing highlight draft reactions and other stuff like that. Miscellaneous videos, uh, uh, video uh, setup videos about my new setup and everything that's going to be happening. So, guys, haven't grabbed the membership in the pinned comment description below. Definitely check it out. We're going to be uh, streaming the draft um, all three days with Philly 500 streaming from both channels. Okay, so definitely give both channels a lot of love those three days. And we're going to have the Philly Shakedown on Sunday too, uh, which is going to be good. So we're going to be busy like four days straight. It's going to be a lot of streaming. He also said, Joey, we need a lead running back. How about Brees Hall? I love Brees Hall. I love Kevin Harris from Iowa State. Um, my guy, Hassan Haskins from Michigan. That's another one I really do like. Uh, you got some bruiser type backs that I, I would love to get between four to four to six that I would really like. So uh Burrow says, Hey, hey Joey, new subscriber, Philly 500 brought me here. Happy draft. Week. All right, Berto, welcome to the channel. And uh, you're going to love this week. If you're going to love these streams, you're going to love this, especially for the draft. I appreciate you coming in and, and thank you uh, for definitely subscribing. Thank you so much. Uh, Herzo, so you, are you sold on McDuffie yet? I am not. I am not. I think he's an inside corner. I don't think he's a man coverage guy. He's too small. He just doesn't scream that he's going to, you don't draft. He's going to, he fits the scheme well, but. I don't want to draft a guy that's better in zone coverage as a first round pick. It's just not happening for me. George said Eagles not getting draft, uh, going to draft George Pickens. George Pickens is a player while uh, while we'll pass and just because. And I think you know there's been a lot of rumors about George Pickens moving up in the late first round too. So 
Easy Money says, fly, goes fly. Uh, Corey C. Williams says, Joey, you're my favorite. Uh, Jay, but I don't like uh, yes, Jordan Matthews. Okay, but Josh Huff, Jalen Rager, J.J. Ortega, White, uh, John Hightower, Fear Jameson. Now I want, uh, just saying, I dude, I, I totally agree. I If I'm wanting a receiver in the first round, it's going to be Jameson Williams from Alabama, the speedster. But though I love it. $44 billion only buys a toilet. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. George said eight receivers is not going in the first. For, I mean, that's all I'm saying is what I heard from on what the, all the GMs think as of right now is eight receivers are going to be taken in that first round. Eight to nine, actually. It's your boy Mike says, would you trade up for Wilson? I would trade up for Wilson or or Jameson Williams. I would I, for both. Or does says he could play multiple positions in your secondary. Yeah, I know he can, but it's just not it's just not working out for me, bro. Black Galaxy says, yo, what's going on, Black Galaxy? I heard so he could guard the small guys. Uh, George says, I didn't even um, – hold on one second. Let me block this. There we're good. Uh, George said, I didn't even like Jordan Matthews' pick. No, I didn't either. I mean, I didn't like the Jordan Matthews' pick either. I wasn't a big fan of it. To replace Deshaun Jackson, that's who they got. It nah, didn't really help. Rookie year was fantastic. but I mean, his rookie year was fantastic, but – it was gang said, Joey, I'm hyped. Can't wait to see uh, Vegas packed and the shakedown and just hyped. We're going to be so ready for you guys by draft. We're going to be so ready for you. So if you guys like these streams, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't. We're, we're going to be streaming from both channels Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Both channels. So definitely hop, you know, keep both channels open. Mute one of the streams. So you're not hearing it twice. And, you know, give both channels a lot of love. Yeah, he goes, Muncie, Joey Shakes is a new Matt MVP Corral jersey. I'll tell you something. If that happens, I'll be so mad. Randy says Kenneth Walker, third Michigan State running back, five nine two twelve would be a stud for the Eagles. What in the third, second, or third? I think he'd be a, a third round pick, definitely. Kenneth Walker. I've watched some tape on him too. Corey says, "Don't go for Jameson. No, just no J name wide receivers." Sarah Byler says, "Hey, what's going on, Chuck? The Eagles fan. It's been a while. Traylon Burks and Andrew Booth are the best guys for our team." Uh, Andrew says, I've seen a lot of mock drafts that were receivers going early in Hamilton fall to 15. If he's a must draft, if he falls that far, the Eagles could take him. They could take him. I think, I think Washington might actually take him, to be honest. I think Washington's going to take one of these speed receivers. I think they're going to take one of these receivers. I think Washington's going to take a receiver at 11. I think they'll take Kyle Hamilton if he is available too. Who that dude says, yo, what up, Joey? Three more days. Three more days, dude. It's getting close. Like what George said, honestly, I would not mind taking Pickens in the 18th pick. Hurts so says 5'11", nearly 200, isn't a small kid. This hits a kid hits like a bullet. I know he plays bigger than he is. Okay, I understand that, but I'm just I'm just not into it, man. I mean, you're not going to change my mind. I don't like. I just don't like him. I think he, there's better talent. I don't care about how he fits the scheme. Like you're talking about, he can move all over the place and he fits the scheme. I don't care if he can move all over the place. I need a man on man corner. I don't care if he can move anywhere on the field. If I'm looking for that, I'm looking for that in the safety at this point. And Jaquan Brisker, Daxton Hill. That's what I'm looking for at safety. Tyler Goodwin says, per John McMullen, the names I hear are most connected to the Eagles are in no particular order are Jordan Davis, Chris Olave, James Williams, Derek Stanley, Jermaine Johnson, and Devontae Wyatt. Totally agree with that list. I totally agree with that list. D says, hoping we could get Burks. We need a bigger wide receiver, and he can get open unlike Drake. Herzl says he's uh, the same height as Rev's 5'11". It's your boy Mike says, if we sit at 15 and 18, who do you want those picks? I'm moving up for Sauce or Stingley, um, and I want one of those defensive tackles from Georgia. That's what I want in the first round. I want a corner and a defensive lineman. Co says, been hearing about, about Jordan Davis, so that's a good thing. Dyden says, I'm ready for the draft. I've seen Corral. He's kind of dissatisfied with the outcome. I wanted to go with Florida, blah, blah, blah. It should have been late last year's draft, but he has to stay. Ray says, hey, Joey, are you selling any merchandise and plus size on 5XL? I, I sh Whatever I have down there, I haven't sold merch. I haven't updated my merch, which I have to. I might update a new logo soon. And so all that stuff down there, like um, I haven't sold merch in a while. I don't know if they go up to 5XL, so I'm not really sure. I haven't been on that site in a while. He says, Howie Roseman, Nick Sirianni brought Matt Corral to the Novacare twice. Imagine how he's zoning in on Corral. There could be a possibility, really. I kind of said to myself, those two first-round picks for next year, like I think Howie Roseman is weighing out the options. They could go get a quarterback and could trade Minshew because I think Minshew's going to have a lot of interest after the draft or during the draft. You never know. Shane says, who do you think is the uh, most cursed first-round pick team? 
the most cur- us. <laughs> I mean, we have been. I mean, we haven't hit on a first besides last year. We haven't hit on a first round pick in a lot of years. But I guess is Devin Lloyd out of the picture. I think the Kobe Dean and Devin Lloyd are definitely out of the picture as of right now. I I, I think so. Aaron says, "Does Wandell Robinson's size concern you?" Same with Sky Moore. They scare me how small they are. Yeah, I, they, they really don't. Wandell Robinson is is more of a he's a more of an inside. He's a he's a slot receiver. He's an inside receiver. Very twitchy, very slippery. Great hands. Change direction real fast. Start and stop speed. It's kind of crazy. Um, you know, I I love Wandell. I think he's, he'd be a, he has too much natural gifted talent. Um, and he makes, you know, he makes corners think on their feet because he can almost do any type of route that you want him to do. And he will, he will outplay your whole entire defense. You get that ball to him in open space. It's almost over. Wondell Robinson is one of my favorites going to this draft. Think one of the most underrated wide receivers going to this draft. Uh, that's just me. Dank says, uh, unfortunately, I think both cornerbacks are going to be gone by the 12th pick, which it could happen. It could happen. Bang, 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 Ray says, we better not screw this up. Uh, true that. Bleeds the Eagles says, Shakes, what's the ultimate draft day feast? Uh, unfortunately, because I'm going to be streaming, so I'm not going to be eating like a lot. I'm going to have snacks and stuff. Um, uh, trust me, if I wasn't streaming and I was just watching like a casual person, uh, I would be with wings, pizza, I mean, soda, I mean, chips and dip, I mean, salsa, guacamole, or you name it, it's all there. Bane Bergangs, I agree with you, Joey. We need a long corner that can play man to man. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, I don't give a crap about a corner that can move all over the place. I don't care if there's if he fits the scheme better. You don't draft a first round, you don't draft a first round cornerback for zone coverage. You just don't do it. That's why I want to pass up on Trent McDuffie. Guy says Burks like AJ Brown. Um I think AJ Brown is better route running than Burks. I think Burks has that's where his weakness is, his routes. But the guy could catch the ball. The guy could, uh, the guy's good in, re- in open space. Got good vision. James Cool said, "Could you imagine Slay Stanley, Devontae James in second round, LB and sign Honey Badger off season would be triple A plus 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 plus." Yeah, it it would be. You know, Darius Slay is going to is going to mentor. If they they draft a corner in the first round, the mentorship that this kid is going to get coming in the building is going to be just is going to be crazy. AW says that we need Howie to get to the drill. Uh, dr- uh, uh, Dervin Lloyd, uh, Devin Lloyd, Hassan would be our hands on dirt edge rusher. We need a young, bona fide middle linebacker. I totally agree. I think we need to add another one. Hopefully, Christian Harris is going to be the guy. Jonathan Lasko, what's going on, man? So we are drafting Jam uh Jamo Davis calling it, and I'd be fine with that too. Be fine with that. Moss says corral for president trade hurts. <laughs> Andrew says if the Eagles load up on defense rounds one and two, I'm hoping they'll grab Justin Ross from Clemson the third, uh, uh fourth. He's six four in good hands, but an injury history. Easy money says Matt Rocket Arm Corral. Money says if we draft Davis or why I'm going to flip out. He's money says, yes, sir. Shakes draft night food. It's the best man. It's the best. Susan says, Kyle here. I think we're trading with Carolina uh, or jets. Big possibility with those two teams. The jets might be the jets. I don't know. The jets are definitely going receiver at 10. I feel like they, they, I don't think they're going to go that early for a receiver, but they might move up to 15. I don't know. They might, they might not, they might stay just be, they might stay too, just because they need offensive line. Because Neil's going to be available. Equinanu is going to be available. I can never say that guy's name. So, you know, it's never going to happen. Um, Flag and Eagle says, uh, what up, Joey? How's your day, bro? It's been good. I'm ready. The next couple of days, I'm ready. George said, curse and not being smart is two different things. <laughs> That's definitely true. It's definitely true. George says, uh, curse something in bold happens. How I just stuck at draft the receiver. I feel like just pick a random name out of a hat. And That's how it is. But that's how it mostly been. Uh, Ray says, you do carry Falcon Cell. Just ordered uh, your logo on Forest Green T-shirt. I appreciate it so much, man. Thank you so much. You don't have to do that, but I appreciate it, though. Definitely, if you have Twitter, then tweet it out, too, man. Definitely tweet it out as well. Uh, Big Ed said, I want four picks in the first, uh, second, uh, in the first two rounds. Williams, Bresker, Orkan, Sh- uh, Chanel, and McCreary. McCreary is one of the most, un- uh, most underrated corners in this draft as well. Baron Vaughn says, Coral or Pickett and Linderbaum. Jesus, guys are crazy. Adrian says, MEP in that will in the 6 4 corner in UTSA, huge and fast, but didn't play a major competition. Uh, Jenny Hall said, I love you better than my kids. <laughs> Carla Real says, we talk about Matt Corral so much, I might be upset if he goes anywhere else. Nah, I, I'm going to be pissed. 
I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna. I might. I might even flip over my computer chair. Might be pissed off. It's not gonna go well. You might say Joey the Rant, Howie draft one to ten round one. Matt Corral, Derek Stanley round two. Christian Harris. I don't, they draft the quarterback in the first round. I'll be so freaking pissed. Ray said, "What's your Twitter handle? I wasn't aware you had it. Oh yeah, I have Twitter, guys. Follow me on Twitter. I have to. I have to. I have a um. What's it called? I do have a." It's my Twitter is private, so I have to accept you guys. But my Twitter, I just put my Twitter in the live chat. It's about to come up now. But he goes, I wish they would mic uh, Howie up on draft night so we can understand his vision properly. Bond says, uh, are, are they trading? Probably. I mean, they're definitely looking for a trade. Hopefully it happens before the draft. Car said, I feel like Howie values wide receiver like the league values running backs and Smitty was a pressure pick. Silver said, no one talks about Marcus Jones. He has tremendous later round value. Mon says, uh, Sauce didn't play major camp, either Temple, Tulane, UCF. Uh, Baron Vaughn, I'm not getting me some KFC on draft night. That sounds good, too. I've had KFC in years. Bond says, is it possible for the Eagles to get Sauce on the 10th pick? For Sauce, probably not. <laughs> probably not. I, I'd be shocked if he makes it to 10. I'd be shocked if he makes it past 5 or 6, to be honest with you. As it picks forks and torches of Corral ends up in Kelly Green. Totally agree, bro. I'm ready. Pitchfork will be up in the air. 100%. 100%. Definitely happening. No doubt about it. I will be on strike. In front of the Novacare Complex, I will be on strike. Uh, Easy Money says, Corral season. Who that dude says, Sauce is going top four. Yeah, I feel like he's going to be top four. Top four, top five. He he's going within top five, top six. I mean, it's it's going to happen. And it's it's something that I really don't want, but you know, I would love to get my hands on this guy. Pause. But um, there's a lot more out there though. Bonson, I'm looking at Jameson. Bang bang Burger Gang said if we draft London or McMuffin, I mean McDuffie, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> if we draft McMuffin, I'm terrible. or Mc McFluffy. There's some people call him McFluffy. Mike Tomlin loves Matt Corral. Jake said that uh, Jamo is going by 15. Um, trade down from 18 and, and up from 51 to get Pickens and BPA. Yeah, I totally agree. I totally agree. And George Pickens is definitely one of my favorites going in the uh, going into the second round. So I could see I could see it happening. Baron says you might I'm on the QB bandwagon um, as long as we don't get Willis. Kari says, uh, crazy how fast Kyle Hamilton is falling. A few weeks ago, he was a first top. Yeah, I don't know. Did his, Was it his combine? Or is there something else that we don't know about it? About some of the stuff that's going on with him? Bond said, what would be your reaction if we get sauce? Oh, man, I would be emotionally shocked. I would be flipping the hell out. I, I would absolutely love it. Roland says, it's almost that time of the year again. Uh, Thursday will be extremely happy or pissed. I'm hoping that Jameson Williams falls to 15. I swear Casey would trade both first for Williams in a mid-round pick. They probably will. They probably would. Philly 500 is still sending me pictures of Matt Corral. Still sending me pictures of Matt Corral. He isn't stopping. He is not stopping. Miguel, uh, Miguel Gonzalez, what's going on, man? Says Stingley is a better prospect face bear competition throughout his career. Yeah, but is he still the same corner that he used to be, man? Like that since the injuries and his pro day looked great, but he could be in the best shape of his life. But is he all there, you know? Carla, D Carla Russell, day two will be more exciting than day one unless we get sauce. Uh, Sean's ass says QB and O-line, the first would be the worst uh, first-round picks ever defense. Reese says Pickens and Christian Harris in the second round, please. I'd totally be, I'd totally be fine with that. I'd be fine with that. Ron Von Cyclone says, would you rather get a linebacker or a cornerback? I would want corner right now just because we haven't drafted one early in a long time. Um, but I mean, that's just my opinion. I mean, I want a linebacker badly. If they get if they, if they can go into the second round and get a linebacker anyway. I mean, I don't even care. Like they have the time to do it. It's not like the first round, the only linebackers you can go get a linebacker. Bonds, I can't wait till the draft. I just want to snap to Thursday. To totally agree. Totally agree. Why is Desert Eagle 90 sending me pictures of Matt Corral? What is going on? Why is he sending me pictures of Matt Corral now?
I just got a random. I just got a random text from Desert Eagle. I got a picture of Matt Corral. You can't see it, but what the hell is going on? That's so weird. I'm being set up for something. I got two people. Another person just sent me a Corral picture. I don't know why. It's just weird. Um, Sean says, stay coaching up Stingley. Kyle Hampton falling to us. Easy money says, Shake's still getting the Matt Corral pictures from Denzel. Yeah. Yeah, he just sent me one just now. And then Desert Eagle 90 just sent me one. Another content creator for the Eagles sent me one. Uh, Chris Scott says, I love M. Jones as a punter. He has eight career touchdowns, punt and kickoff return. He could be a great backup slot cornerback. Randy says, does 500 want Matt Corral or is he just punking you? I don't know what he, I don't know what he wants. He, he like, he shows one side that he really wants him and then he likes him, but then he shows another side where, you know, he wants him, but he wouldn't draft him. So I don't, I don't know what, I don't know which side I'm getting. That's more right from him. I don't know. I still think we can get AJ or DK. Barrett said, thank you. Easy my people are delusional if they think they have a chance at Stroud or Young. Top five picks next year. That's why I feel like they could get a quarterback in this draft. Barrett said, what happened to Desert? You and him were bros. Yeah, yeah. Me and him talk every day. We just haven't done content. We haven't done content get it together in a long time. Uh, Chris said, Marcus Jones is the fourth round pick. Easy Money says, breaking Nick Sirianni said he loves Matt Corral. Is drafting him a number four overall pick at the New York Giant, New York Jets trade. Let me tell you something. If they reach that far to get Matt Corral number four, that would piss me the hell off. Iron says, what up, Joe? I can't wait to wear my new Eagles polo shirt to work on Thursday. What time's the draft? Uh, 8 o'clock. I think it's 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock on Thursday. Eastern. Dagger, what's going on, man? He says, they're still bros. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's, people don't know. People don't know anything. Vince says, I think it's also speculation with Matt Crawl. I don't even think we're going to get a QB in the draft. Sean says, I feel like Hunter likes him, but he doesn't want to waste a first-round pick on any quarterback. All I'm back says, uh, draft night meal, 20-ounce porterhouse, baked potato paired with a robust Argentinian red blend out, uh, but most likely uh, dungs and beans. That porterhouse sounds really good. Bake, I haven't had a baked potato and like with sour cream and like sour cream and butter, like both with she, like bacon on it. Oh man, crazy. Yeah, goes that Willie wants him, just not in the first. Kari says two first and gets you into the top five next year. Matt said, Would you rather take Christian Harrison in the second or Penn State safety? Oh man, that one's a tough one because. Uh, that one's tough. If I would do it, it'd be Christian Harris because we need we need like we need somebody at linebacker. Like we need a talent, we need a, a thumper at that position. It, it's hard to pass up on Jaquan Brisker at this point. Yeah, he said dog, so I don't know. <laughs> I, I read dogs, so I don't know. I don't know what that meant, but hopefully it's not hopefully that was a typo. Uh is John said, What up, What's going on, John? Corey Real, a lot of mocks happened to Kobe Dean falling the second. Philly needs to keep an eye on him. That one would be interesting if he actually fell. Brown said, I would never trade up for Crowd, but I'm not opposed to getting him. Easy Money says, Trevor Lawrence went number one uh, overall. Matt Corral is a stronger arm than him. Vincent says, I think we're going to get a big time corner. That's what I'm thinking. Big time corner. Trade up for Sauce. Trade up for Stingley. Go get it done. They got to get it done. Penn State safety, yeah, it's it's a tough one. That's a tough one between because like with Jaquan, with Jaquan Brisker, he can literally just he can move from safety to corner to line. He can play any. You can use him as a, a pass rusher. I mean, that guy is going to be a beast. Jaquan Brisker, he's going to be a total beast. Ayers is five hundred prepping for Corral like poison. You take a little bit over and over, and it doesn't kill you like drafting Corral. Kiago says, "I don't want anyone that is in starting day one in the first round." Uh, who that dude says Corral doesn't have a stronger arm than Lawrence, bro. Chris Scott says Philly Vonner say expect the Corral jersey in your mail on Wednesday. It's, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Susan says, Joey, who's bigger troll, Mark Holmes or Capizzle? Um, I don't know, actually. I don't, really, I don't really watch them that much. I go on Mark Holmes' stream sometime. Like, I haven't, I haven't watched Capizzle in, like, a couple years. It's been a while. I don't. I don't watch. I just really don't even watch him. To be honest, Brad said we need three good linebackers on this roster. We only get two. If we draft Christian Harris, I have him splitting reps with Edwards. Um, I mean, yeah, I would uh, maybe, but I mean, he's more of an outside guy too. So I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, hot dogs and baked beans. Oh, <laughs> why would I say if I think dogs? Why can't I figure that that means hot dogs? Sorry, man. 
I said dog. I, everyone's thinking dogs, and yeah, that's where my mind is. Uh, T. Miller says, "Who do you think we draft, Joey? I think you're gra- you're you're moving up in the you're in the draft to go get one of these cornerbacks, and I think you're pretty much sitting to go get one of these defensive tackles from Georgia. I mean, that's what I think." Hey, Johnson, would you ever take Brisker over Hamilton? I would. I would. I really would because I think he's going to have more value for this team. I think for for the for the value of this team, I think he's going to have more value here. I do because you can play multiple positions on the field. I think ADW the beat says cornerback or linebacker or both in the first or bust. I pick cornerback in the first, linebacker in the second. Easy much says Joey. What if the crowd is somehow on the board when Howie picks at fifteen? Doesn't mean it doesn't mean he's going to pick him though. That's that's the only thing. It doesn't mean he's going to get picked. So. Easy much JV football Eagles front office views Matt Krause hands down the best QB in the draft. All right, what was that from like two months ago? What was that from like two two months ago? Probably a while ago they said that. Maybe they changed their mind. I don't know. Andrew says uh, the second round safeties Petra and Brisker seem like box only. The Eagles need ball hawk like Weapon X or MJ. Dax Hill is the answer. I mean, I like Dax Hill too. He's a little bit smaller than Brisker, so he's a smaller safety, but he plays really big. Always gets his hands on the football. Really good football IQ. Uh, love Daxton Hill. Soon says, Joey, I know we need a bias here, but we need to get younger on defense. Yeah, I mean, I think they're getting – I mean, tell the Eagles that because they, they 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 have to bring in another receiver this year. They have to draft another one. Okay, I'm not saying you got to build – got to build your defense 100%, but this isn't – we're not trying to compete this year. You guys got to understand this. Like, we're not competing this year. They put no weapons around Jalen Hurts this whole entire offseason. I mean, there's quarterback rumors all over the place. From what Howie said, of not this, they don't want the draft for the short term. Pretty much meaning they're not, they might not get the big explosive players in this draft. You know, they might. I don't. I don't know what they're doing. I really don't. I mean, I feel like they're tanking this year. I mean, I feel like they're. They know it's a rebuilding year. It's a rebuilding year for the Eagles. It, it is. They're not ready to compete yet. Vince Harris says, uh, "I think we're going to get a big time corner plus big time edge rusher from Oklahoma." Uh, Baron says, Joey would probably cry if we got Sauce Gardner and Kobe Dean. Oh, yeah. If they got if they got in the first round, <laughs> they got a linebacker plus a cornerback. That's long-term. That's a long-term answer right there. Perfectly. Carr said, well, I don't know why, but the later rounds have always been more exciting than me. At first, I thought it was because there's so many talented steals, but now I realize that's maybe because that's who we draft the best at, which, yeah, which we do. We draft the best at those spots, too. I want to hit on these first rounders, though. Uh, he says, uh, Joey, uh, what if how he got sauce and Matt Corral in the first? I'd be ha- I'd be happy and sad. I'd be happy and like, what the hell? A what the hell type moment. So I'd probably be a mixture of both. Big Ed says, we may have it backwards. We might draft a QB that slips this year to groom. And then next year we grab a cornerback uh, because draft class is fire. Check it out. While the 2022 QBs just need to sit and learn. Yeah, they're, they're going to sit. If you draft Matt Corral, he's going to sit for the year. I mean, that's what's going to happen. So. Christian Harris, second round. I would totally agree with that. Keogh goes to waiting for another Eli draft bay, uh, day debacle. Can you imagine a guy getting drafted and saying he doesn't want to play there? <laughs> That'd be amazing. Ryan says Sky Moore will be a nice second rounder. Yeah, I, I, I like Sky Moore a lot. Brad said NFC is wide open. You can go in the playoff run. Yeah, it's wide open, but are we going to be prepared? I mean, that really, it's up to Jalen Hurts and up to this offensive coordinator and Shane Steichen. And, and Devontae Smith better have over a thousand yard season this year. That's all I got to say. Quez Watkins better, better get more, better get better get more snaps. And I don't know who else they're bringing in. And once once we get this draft going, once like we figure out who's here and to fit the mold of what's going on. You know, we'll see what happens. I think the NFC East is definitely wide open because I think the Cowboys are probably the Cowboys is probably the most regressed team in the NFC East, to be honest with you. They've regressed a lot. You know, the Giants have too way too many coaching pieces, and you know, they're there's way too many pieces. Daniel Jones seems like the answer, I guess. I don't know what's going on. Washington actually might play pretty well this year just because of the Carson Wentz upgrade, and you know, we'll see. Uh pre by waiver says uh I stay in Atlanta. Um, the Falcons are the only team keeping the Eagles from getting Garrett Wilson. Hopefully Falcons take a defensive end, which we badly need, but knowing Falcons, they will draft. They might draft wide receiver because they don't, I mean, who do they have at wide receiver right now? Gage is with Tampa Bay. Calvin really suspended. I mean, they're down to like nobody at wide receiver for, uh, Marcus Mariota. So I really don't know where he's going to be. I couldn't even tell you, to be honest. 
Uh, well, why would you tank if you had two guaranteed first round picks? Who says Joey would cry if you get sauce and Flip Hunter would cry if we get Ojabo? Andrew Morton says, I hope Corral land goes to the team formerly known as the Redskins and beats out Prince Harry to start, then throws 30 picks. A car says, if we get defensive line and O-line the first two rounds and no Robert Sears till the third, then we're tanking probably. I don't know. I don't think it matters. I think you're still getting you're still getting a long-term a long-term piece in a wide receiver in the first and second round. Just because they get a, a receiver in the first and second it doesn't mean that they're competing. It, it can mean that they're tanking still. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. Joe Maggs says, Howie, body language says, Matt Corral is not going past 15. Uh, the coup of 70 says, all the teams know they are dra- uh, taking uh, that's uh, taking that's why they are ready to having a jersey with the player's name and number on it, just more drama. AW The Beats uh, says, if Howie was worth his salary, we would find Cooper Cup or Adam Thielen somewhere in this draft. Big Ed says, we also don't want Harris. He is a terrible tackler. We need Tenda or Chanel. Joey, what's going on, man? He says, yo, Joey, on my lunch break here in Cali. Thought I would stop by. I'm excited. Nervous for the draft with Howie at the helm. Yeah, but I'm excited, though. I'm really screwed up in the head right now about it, but I'm I'm excited. Either way, Howie uh, Goldman, when he lands the next star, QB Matt Corral. Ryan says, no hate on Jalen Hurts, but if Devonta Smith had a better QB, he would have had a 1,000-yard season. It's Johnson, I want Java, but now he won't play this season. Brown said, if we trade back in the first and got another second, I'd uh, want to get Chad Muma. Uh, he's going to Matt Corral, 15. Suden says, uh, Joey, if Howie fucks up, I'm drinking my Jack Daniels. I don't blame you. I really don't blame you, to be honest. I don't blame you. It, it's going to be It's going to be really uh, – it's going to be interesting. Draft's going to be very interesting. I, I don't know what they're doing. And since they're talking about Jameson Williams so much, like from today, they're talking about Jameson Williams like crazy today. I feel like they're not going to get him now. I feel like the more they talk about somebody, the more they're not getting him. The more you hear news on a player, the more they're not getting him in this draft. Matt Corral have heard no news on him past couple weeks. I mean, absolutely nothing. Chanel reminds me of Trotter. Could totally be the next Axe Man. Really? Yeah, Ghost, I'll be watching the stream while the, at the Eagles draft party. Can't wait. Oh, that should be fun. I hope you enjoy your day, dude. I hope we all enjoy our, our damn night. So it says, dude, enough with the corral stuff. Jesus. Baron says, uh, watch how I pick up Ojabo in the first. Yeah, that definitely won't happen. Second round, sure. First round, definitely not. Ryan says, how would you feel if we trade up and got Kenny Pickett? I'd be pissed. I don't, I, I'd be even more pissed. Because I'm not a fan of Kenny Pickett, like, at all. Like, whatsoever. I'm not even a fan. Nowhere near being a fan of Kenny Pickett whatsoever. Oh, man. Interesting. Uh, Philly sports fans have Eagles select Corral. I'm personally going after easy money. I think everybody will. He better he better not give out his address to nobody. Talking sports with London ones is high. What's going on? Mont says Trotter type linebackers aren't needed anymore. Passing league. Uh, Odid says let's move up in the draft and get corner, please. That's what I want badly. I'm moving up for sauce. I'm trying to stay sit there and wait for Stingley if that's even possible. Big Ed says if we grab Chanel our uh, sign or Chanel Brisker, our defense would have some hitters with leadership. Bron says, easy money, you better record your reaction and post if we take Corral. So this is Philly Sports. Easy money says, Howie is quiet about Corral the last few weeks because he wants Corral to fall to him at 15. Hold on one second. Philly 500, still send me pictures of Matt Corral. I don't know what the hell these guys are doing, but if John says, if y'all think Corral's not going to be there at our pick, then you're crazy. Brad says, was Devonta Smith on a pre-draft visit? I don't, I don't think so. I could be wrong, but I feel that at his pro day, no, they didn't have a pro day. They didn't have a pro day, did they? Didn't th- they didn't have a pro day to the public, did they? I don't I don't remember. I don't remember. Someone had to tell me. I don't remember actually. 
Lying Sports, aka Philly Sports. I want to know that I used to be a Philly Sports, but I changed it. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember. He's my side. I promise you guys that we will own the NFC if we draft Matt Corral. Stingley and Corral. You guys are guys are crazy. Darius said, what up, Joey Shakes? Three more days until the draft. Zach, I'm I'm pumped. I'm nervous. I'm gonna be shitting my pants the day before, but I'm I'm nervous though. Now, Desert Eagle 90 sending me pictures of Matt Corral. I'm telling you, bro. Um, <laughs> These fucking guys. <laughs> hey, I have heard Todd throwing an NFL size football. Sometimes I haven't had an inch in hand size over Kenny Pickett. Barad says, I haven't seen highlights of him, but what do you think of Lewis? I haven't seen much. I've seen a little bit, but I haven't seen enough to uh, really make a final thing about him. Rose says, because it's uh, Corral season, Joey. Philly sports fan says, Smith had a Zoom visit, I believe. God, man, my phone's going off like crazy right now with Matt Corral all over it. Um, Bill says, Jets are trading the 10th pick for Debo Samuel. Uh, Easy Money says, Joey Pickett will never be in a lead. He is not impressive at all. Who would you be more mad at, Pickett or Corral? Oh, God. Probably pick it more than Corral because I actually do like Corral a lot. I like Corral. I just wouldn't draft him. He's He just keeps going, man. Uh, Suo says, I love Khan. I want him or Brisker in the second. The truth, the truth is who's getting Debo. I think they're holding on to him. It looks like they want two first-round picks. I don't think they're getting that compensation from anybody. So I feel like. I feel like they're gonna hold. I think I feel like they're gonna hold on to him. Anyways, I can't wait till Friday when I never have hear some name Matt Corral again or Easy Money mute both. Easy Money says it's hilarious. Denzel still sends shakes pictures of Rocket Arm Corral. I, yeah, it's crazy. He just sent me another five pictures. <laughs> I mean, I mean, another five. I mean, you could see the pictures. I mean, it's just crazy. It's crazy. And then he sent me pictures of, and then he sent me pictures of like this eBay jersey for Matt Corral. I'm like, no, bro, don't even. Uh, hold on. Baron says, uh, "Choing joy with Matt Corral is fun." Uh, Curry says, uh, "Is at least hurts a shootout or way better Baylor team." Uh, Lightning Sports says the Titans don't want to trade AJ Brown, but he's clearly not happy. Yeah, his tweets the past few weeks have been kind of crazy. Um, uh, says Corral, let's go. Phil says Jacksonville is possibly uh taking about talking about trade back in the first pick in the draft. Uh, Uriel says Joey, you see rumors of how he's dead or Jameson Williams at 15. So if we were to move up, I don't know, it might not be for a wide receiver, it could be DB. Uh, CB or DL. Yeah, I could see that. Brian said, I'd be happy if we trade up for Thibodeau. Yeah, Thibodeau would be a good one, too. I mean, if Thibodeau starts dropping, they could take him as well. So. Oh, God, this is an... Annoying. Eagles Land says, Joey, you're being trolled with the corral picks uh, all day, every day. Joey says, you're not getting A.J. Brown or Debo. Both teams won't get rid of them. We just need to draft one in the first. If Wilson, Williams, or Lavi aren't there, we should trade back and get in the second. Agreed. Tate said, we need to go Jay Will at 15, Booth at 18, Christian Harris in the second, and then draft Carson Strong and Jurgens in the third. Andrew says Corral has all the natural talent. Ben Simmons and will accomplish about the same garbage. Greg says AJ Brown is the perfect fit. Easily give up on the first for him. 
Uh, Tate Milligan says uh, Carson Strong is low-key sleeper QB. Yeah, I mean, he'd be a good third-round pick. I mean, he had those lower body injuries, and I think Carson Strong would be – I think it would be a lot higher in this draft without those injuries too. Easy Money says Matt Corral is a dog. What's going on, Ryan? Hope you're having a good day, bro. Hope you're having a fantastic, fantastic day. Tay Milgan says Corral has character issues as reported. He might fall to second or late first. Rishi says uh, Christian Harris or Pickens in the second. Uh man, it's a tough. It dep- so we don't. So if we don't have linebacker in the first round, which we most likely won't, it's hard, man. I want Christian Harris. Like I want him badly. Baron said if the Kobe Dean fell in the second round, I'd be screaming for Howie to trade up for him. Yeah, I want to see if that's actually going to happen. Sua says, uh, Carson has zero mobility. His knee is jacked up. Ryan says, are you and Philly Farmer streaming together the draft? Yeah, so we're going to be streaming from both channels for three days. So if you're on your computer or your phone, you know, if you're, I miss you on your computer, if, if you want, you know, keep both of those streams open between me and Philly 500, mute one of the streams. I mean, you'll be seeing the same thing on both from both channels. So we'll be streaming from both channels those three days. It'll be a lot of fun. And then Sunday, we're going to do a draft review on Sunday. Uh, so we're gonna have we're gonna be streaming the draft. We're gonna have videos out after the draft, reaction, vi- you know, reaction vids as well. Uh, so there's gonna be a lot out there. All in books says Chris Sims thinks 15, Drake London 18, Trent McDuffie. What we know, yeah. I mean, I've seen that a million. I saw Peter Schrager did the same thing. He has taken London and McDuffie, which I couldn't stand. I hope that's gonna be the worst first round the whole entire draft. Aaron said, Corral's arm strength, Simmons, three throws, straight up dumpster fire. Jake says, just wait till you see Matt Corral, jersey swap I'm working on. Euro says, uh, Christian Harris or Jaquan Brisker in the second. Probably probably Christian Harris, man. It's 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 tough. It's really tough for me. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's really tough. It's the, that That's a tough choice. Andrew Marvin says, if Corral's a dog, he's a chihuahua. <laughs> Parents said, this draft is going to um it's gonna be crazy after the first three picks ryan says this week after the draft tyron matthew could be an eagle yeah that's another one we have to watch out for too if they don't draft high on a safety goodbye tyron Matt. like welcome tyron matthew here but he could he could be gone too so so it says so the rumors that several league sources believe jermaine johnson has a better chance to go number four to the jets than cave on thibodeau interesting Interesting. So there's apparently some stuff coming about George Pickens. Okay, there's some news coming out about George Pickens, and some people are passing on him now. So um, which wires here is the most boom or bust guy? Scout, One of the scouts, just a regular NFL scout, said George Pickens. There's a lot of upside, but he can't get out of his own way. He's been enabled his whole life. That sounds like a big Jalen Rager situation to me. I don't know how true it is. Now, there's a wide receiver coach on Pickens that talked. Just a, I, they won't give out names of who it is, but a wide receiver coach on Pickens says on tape he's probably a top five wide receiver, but there's so many red flags. They're big red flags. He's got a lot of growing up to do. If he goes to the right place with a room full of veterans that will help him go the right way, I think he'll have a chance. That's an interesting one. That's interesting. I just saw that on Twitter just now. That's Definitely, definitely interesting. Um, George, uh, let's see. Carlos Rodney is purported as being much healthier. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's probably healthier. No, I mean, no doubt about it. Bro, he says, I don't understand. You're disgusted against McDuffie. He's three, four, an inch taller, top three cornerback. The problem is, dude, he's a, he's more of a, a zone coverage corner. That's that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not I'm not picking a cornerback in the first round because of our scheme. I'm picking it for man on man coverage if I'm getting a cornerback. Because once Slay leaves after a couple of years, then what happens? You're stuck with a zone coverage corner that can't play man to man. I mean, that's just the truth to it all. I just I don't have hate towards him. I'm not saying he's not. I just think he's just not. I think he's right for our system, but I just don't think he should be that reached. He shouldn't be reached that early at top. He shouldn't be a top twenty pick. I mean, that's just me though. Jerry says, "What up, Jake? My uh, trainee tried to pull a mouse off the glue board because he felt 
head, pulled them out, skin off, got freaked out, and he quit. Oh my god, I'd probably do the same thing, bro. Baron Vaughn says Olave or Burks. Roland says I like Pickens. We need some wide receivers that have a competitive attitude on this team. Ryan says it seems like the Eagles are looking at wide receiver Jameis Williams. I, dude, that would be fantastic. I mean, look, that would be like the sleeper pick for the Eagles. Obviously, it's not gonna be a sleeper pick because it's now it's talked about like crazy today. I made a video this morning about he him being the sleeper pick, but now since it's talked about, I feel like now teams are now knowing that the Eagles might get him now and might try to jump them for him. Uh, Mont says uh, Zachary loves to hate. Relax, my guy. Matt says, "What up? What's up? What up, Matt Weeks? What's going on, man?" Takes a wide receiver. Romeo du uh, uh, Doves from Nevada is a sleeper. George says, "It's no way that's true." Sounds like someone trying to drop his stock to get him. Yeah, that's I don't know what that is. Eric said, "Hell yeah, everyone pass on Pickens. He falls at fifty-one. Uh, Pickens is out. Then Smitty is punching the air right now over not having a room full of veteran wide receivers." Oh, I agree. He even said in the off season, uh, Devontae Smith said in the off season he would like a veteran receiver here. And Eagles, the Eagles tried. The Eagles could have had Calvin Ridley here, but it just didn't work out. George says teams making runners up to have higher chances and drafted. Tiger says I have a gut feeling the Eagles are going to make us happy with the first round. All these guys we want, we don't want them to draft London McDuffie and Carl Athos aren't guys they're showing interested in. Yeah, the names you're not hearing are the ones that probably they could have a lot of interest in, in Derek Stingley. Don't be surprised if Derek. I made I made a video this morning about Jameson Williams, but I had I talked about you know Stingley could be there if they move up in the draft. They could go get Stingley. I have, I haven't heard one thing about the Eagles and Stingley being connected in this draft. I haven't heard one bit of news at all. Andrew said Pickens reminds me of the Pittsburgh receiver. Don't remember his name. That huge dude makes DBs until he got kicked out of the league. Forgot. Gunner says, I'm just ready for the season to start, dude. Me too. I, I'm excited for the draft, though, man. I'm not trying to rush the season too much. Number one, I want to enjoy my summer. Number two, um, I want to see training camp. I want to see OTAs. I want to see these preseason games. Joey said, if we get trade up in the second to get Christian Harris or Jabo or in our Hill Brisker, that would be a fire second round uh, linebacker defensive end and or uh, as two of these guys are instant starters. I, be I believe it. The, the second round goes to mid-second round for corn, uh, for uh, linebacker, safety, um, You know, even a few picks in the, in the beginning for defensive line. There's a lot of depth there. I'm going to do Sixers close out to round tonight. I honestly don't know. I wish I, wish I could feel comfortable and say yes. Uh, Van Fleet is probably out. It looks like he's going to be out for the whole series. But Embiid looks like crap. Harris got, you know, punched around a little bit. You know, some guys are dealing with some injuries right now. And Bead just looks horrible. And Bead's got to be more patient, get this double team or triple team and just pass the ball. Let that, you know, offense work around him because he's just, he gets the ball and he passes the ball too quick. He's not giving enough time for the matchups. And that was the problem with last game with Embiid. So I don't know. Barrett said, are, they, uh, are there any centers in this draft we could take to replace Kelsey next year? I don't know about next year. I, I don't know. I mean, besides Linderbaum, I don't know who else is available. George said, team said that, that Jason Tatum so the 76ers wouldn't draft him. Jerry said, if Holly screws up this draft, if Holly screws up this draft, I'm going to. Uh, Chris said, how about Ole Miss uh, defensive Sam Williams around uh, second round when Eagles pick? Why is Sam Williams not in the round grade? I don't even know who that is, so I'm not really sure. Uh, Tasha, why would Eagles come out and say they want Jameson Williams at 15? I mean, it not it might not be them that's saying it. it might be someone close to the organization or someone that's heard rumors about. It could be anybody at this point. They, I doubt they said it because they don't. Howie doesn't like to show his hands. So uh, Chris says, guys on Wednesday will have plenty of good idea of where players are going. I probably not. I mean, things changed last second for a lot of teams. Like you never know. Jerry says, if Howie screws up the draft, I'm going to leave some rat snap traps under his blankets. <laughs> Ryan says, if we can get Tyron Matthew to put the Darius Slay and Kaiser White and Hassan Reddick would be unstoppable if they are used right. Uh, Tate says, would you take, rather take Stingley or Sauce? Andrew says, Pickens seems like he has talent like Davis Bryant did. If he can get himself right, he's going to be an all-pro. Armel says, how he does so many smoke screens with possible picks, he smokes himself out. He's much as shakes in the Mac, uh, MVP Corral jersey. No, definitely not happening. Definitely not happening. You could say it over and over again. Tate said, Pickens worries me. Tate says, we still need a right guard, which is true, which I think they'll pick one up in this draft. They're definitely drafting one offensive lineman in this draft. There's no doubt about it. Easy Money says, Matt Corral and Jameson Williams, future superstars. 
Chris uh, Scott says, by the way, but how he would never say that he really wants to uh, wants in this draft. He keeps everything close to the uh, – oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. George said, George Pickens didn't have to come back after he got hurt. He went to Sixers game tonight. Joey, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, dude, but I'm not feeling great about it. <laughs> I'm not feeling great about it. Nick said, trade up and grab Salts. We fall to sixth and tra uh, trade 18 back and grab Pickens, grab Ojabo in the second. Chris, I do believe he wants Williams, but he would never disclose that info. Yeah, I, he would never do that. Lying Sports, I'm ready to hear Brees Hall, Hassan Haskins, call that one-on-one. -on -one. Brees, well, we'll have to get before one-on-one, -on -one, though. Yeah, we'll see. I, I'm good with Hassan Haskins. Who that do some beat thumbs is jacked up, needs surgery. Yeah, he's got the torn ligaments in his thumb, which really sucks. It's a Pickens is gone. Alec Pierce would be a great consolation prize. Uh, he's every bit as big and fast, just went to a similar school. Jake says Stanley versus Smitty in camp would be fire. Uh, because I know Stanley wants a rematch when Smitty one hand that touchdown catch over him. That would be a great camp. You know, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a fight started. There's gonna be some crazy stuff going around. Brands, I hope the Eagles give Herbig a better chance at starting at right guard this year. He's only 24 and he's not a super. Well, no, I don't. I think I think he's a good backup swing left, right tackle, right guard. I think he plays better at right guard than left guard, but um, I'm totally fine with Herbig being the backup. Like Driscoll isn't the, the prime right guard for us, but he's solid. I think once Lane Johnson retires, he will be the future right guard, right tackle for us. I thought I think Driscoll is a better right tackle than a right guard, but he's not bad. Isaac Samal is coming back too, and I, you know, his pass protection is not good. I've never thought really high on Isaac Samal. I think his run blocking is great. His pass protection is not good. I don't know what they're doing with him. Joey said, I'm here uh, SDN work with someone going out with the Dean uh, Spano's daughter, granddaughter. They're apparently going offense for Herbert in the first or going defense. Chris Hart said, would you really be dumb enough to take a contested catch guy in a shutdown corner from the Pac-12 again? Look at the list of good Washington players in the NFL. Buda Baker is the only legit name. Uh, Zach, he says, Linderbaum, Donovan, uh, Don, uh, Donovan West, Alex Lindstrom, uh, Zach Tom can call replace Kelsey with a year under Stalin. Maine says, Joey, who do you think will be uh, will we pick in this draft on Thursday? I mean, I think they go for. I think they move up for a cornerback, whether it's Stingley, whether it's they move up for Saw Stingley, or they sit and get Booth, um, and then they go after one of these Georgia defensive defensive linemen and Jordan Davis and Devontae Wyatt. Uh, Told for life said, "What's the news? The Honey Badger having? I mean, there's going to be nothing probably until after the draft. If you're expecting Tyron Matthew news, it's probably not going to happen until after the draft. So, depending on the Eagles, if the Eagles draft safety very high between the first two rounds." I think he's gone. I think they're they're starting to see that, you know, we don't know what's how what's going on with this contract situation and where it's going on with where Tyron Matthew wants to go and everything like that. So it's on the way 500 uh it's way shakes 500 cent it. It's not. Jeremiah says, "Hey Joe, I'd like to bring in Philip Lindsay, who's a free agent to strengthen our uh view position." Uh he's always said you got a gift from Denzel Washington. What are you talking about? I got a gift from Denzel Washington. Eagles fans are her big sign is tender. Yeah, he signed his tender today. Yeah, which is good. I'm glad he's back. Darius X says, I saw the clip of you and 500 when Smith got drafted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it was it was very like surprising. That that draft board. Hopefully the draft board is going to be a lot better for us this year. It's not going to go down in flames as it did last year. Because that was pretty, pretty damn bad. I don't stream the 76ers. I I mean, I, I would love to cover two teams, but I'm probably not going to. There's like says my top five uh, favorite Eagles all time. Oh man, I mean you can go Macklin, McCoy, uh, Trotter, Brian Dawkins, and if I was alive, man, the Minister of Defense. I mean, I wish I was alive. I mean, this and early in his career. I mean, if I, I wasn't even born yet, but. Easy money says Joey watch Doc be the first coach ever blow it. He might, he might, it might happen. Broderick says my kiddo birthday today, and mine's tomorrow. I most definitely need a gift, uh, gift draft night. Well, happy birthday to your uh, daughter, or son, whoever it is, and happy birthday to you too, man. Th thank you so much uh, for sharing that information, and and definitely everybody wish Broderick a happy birthday, please. Thank you so much, man. I hope you enjoy. I hope the draft uh, gives you all the fun and joy. <laughs> Without the heartache and disappointment. Dank says, couldn't be more Land Dickerson back center. No. D Dickerson is not moving back to center, dude. I want him at left guard. I don't I don't care. 
then you need a left guard. After. I mean, it doesn't matter. You're going to need like one spot anyway. I'm not, and I, and I think Samal is not a long term answer here either because his pass protection is horrible. So, yo, Philly guys, what's going on, man? Baron says, uh, dank, we could, uh, but he's going so well. Left guard, Melodic. Yeah, exactly, dude. Philly halftime, what's going on, bro? So, do you really think that the Eagles are trading up? I feel like they will. I, I feel like they they shouldn't just sit at 15 and just take whatever's there. I, I really don't feel like they should take whatever's there. I think they should move up. I really think they should move up in this draft. I feel, I feel like they have to. You know what I mean? All right, says, would you trade for both? Would you trade both our first rounds for Jets early first uh, pick uh, and both Jets early second picks for third next year all for love of sauce? I wouldn't trade that much for one player, no. No. Tulsa really said, are you streaming the draft and what time is it? Yeah, me and Philly 500 are streaming the draft all three days. We'll have a post up uh, for the draft. We might start start a half hour before the draft, an hour, a couple hours. We don't know yet, depending on what's going on for Thursday, but we're ready to go. We're ready to go. So we're going to be doing, doing all three days, and then Sunday we're going to be doing the Philly shakedown, so it's going to be kind of nuts. Chris says, top five views all-time, Reggie Dawkins, Van Buren, Van Brocklin, Cox, or Eric Allen. Tyler says, if the Eagles trade up to top ten, Stingley and Jameson are there, I wonder who they take. Who do you think is the higher on their board? <sighs> I don't know because both guys are coming off. Well, I mean, Stingley's not coming off of an injury right now, but I mean, he's, you know, trying to get back to his normal self. Um, that's a, that's a tough one. Tire on their board. I don't know. I mean, it just depends on if they view Stingley as a major need, plus a better best player available over Jameson Williams. I'm not sure. Yo, G Town Keys, what's going on, bro? Zary says, uh, starting all time, a lot of Dickerson, Kelsey, Samalo, uh, Johnson. Roland says, which coordinator has the most pressure on them this season? I think, I think ours does, to be honest. I think Shane Steichen needs to get this off. They need to, the, from play design to route combinations, I think he needs to treat Devontae Smith like a number one and give him the ball more because they don't give him the ball enough. JC, I like Joey Shake's picks. I remember said Honey Badger won't sign until po Yeah, probably not. Yo, heard ahead. What's going on, man? What's going on, bro? Joey, so you got to head back to work, bro. Don't go crazy with the draft. Catch you later. All right, Joey, you have a good day, man. Carter Real says, I was watching Aiden Hudson tapes. You know, Jabo getting washed in line a lot, especially against bigger tackles. I, I mean, look, Jabo, uh, Jabo really, he stood out to me on tape. I mean, I'm not saying that Hutchinson's better, but I got to say, like, oh, Jabo stood out to me on tape, like, immediately because he was always – uh, getting in, being disruptive in the backfield and stripping the ball was a whole nother thing too. Yeah, Marcus Smith was probably probably one of the worst drafts. DQ said Eagles will do, uh, do a complete opposite of what we want to do and go um, and go online first uh, round after trade back to get more picks. Tyler said, "Go ahead." Said we got to root for a lot of offensive line to be picked in the top ten so the guys can slip. Caleb says, "So if we get the number ten pick from the Jets, what would we give up?" I don't think it's much. I think you give away obviously 15. Okay, you give away 15. You might give up one of your thirds and probably one of your fifths. Um, and maybe a mid-round pick for next year. You give away a few picks. I don't, I don't think to move up five spots, I don't think it's gonna cost that much. Whereas I don't really uh, care that McDuffie's primary zone coverage corner, which Rich Sherman was just need McDuffie to be a lockdown. Yeah, and lockdown is like lockdown is is a word you really can't say because lockdown corners don't there's no such thing as a lockdown corner. Like guys like Richard Sherman and guys like that that come out in the league, you know, come out like between four to, you know, fifth, four to fifth to six round picks. Those are the guys that you see as lockdown corners that are, you know, that come out later on. You know, it's hard to say lockdown. You know, there's like, there's a lot of good corners in the league. Most of them aren't even lockdown. You know, they're not maybe consistent, more consistent, but they're not lockdown. Tate says James Cook will be this year's game. Well, I say we draft him in the later rounds. Looks similar to his brother Dalvin, not high in miles. Ryan says, I'm kind of excited, not really nervous about the draft. But he says, are we grooming anyone to take over the center position for the future? I don't know who I don't know what the Eagles think is going to take over on the roster in general. I have no idea that's on the roster. But there says, if you're from New York, then how why are you a Sixers fan too? I've I mean, look, my father used to take me when I was five or six years old. My father used to take me to Yankee games when I was a lot younger, but I mean, that was pretty much it. Um, a lot of my family are giant fans, too. So, I mean, that's a whole nother thing. I'm always around giant and jet fans. So um, it just, you know, Eagles are my team, dude. 
TC Jurgens could play right guard until he moves to center. No, ju- ju- no, that guy needs to stay away from this team because he can't play center. He, I don't think he can play guard either. I just don't. He doesn't get enough playing time. Uh, look back. We did make the right move taking Dearson over JOK and Asante. Yeah, because Asante Samuel Jr. got hurt and JOK got hurt. So that was a good pick. So he said, what up, Joey? I had an idea. What if how he got Barnett to get Ojabo, got back Barnett to get Ojabo, make him sit for a year? That's why the Eagles got him for only one year. I mean, it could happen. Uh, maybe Ojabo's on their board and they might get rid of Barnett after one year. And because Ojabo is going to be pretty much out the whole season, most likely, and then kind of start Ojabo next year for your defensive line. So it could be, it could be the, uh, it's a nice theory right there. The guy said, if Lindenbaum slips in the second round, I think they should go after him. Andrew says, if it sounds like Carolina is desperate to move down next to no one wants to move up, make uh, might make it reasonably priced. I, I think so. I think it would be a good trade. Plus, they got Minshew. They might they might want Minshew. They got Dillard as well. That's that They have two trade chips in Dillard and Minshew. So you got some ammunition plus some extra draft capital you can use to move up to six if that's what you want to do. Um, Easy Money says, Corral is many 95-yard touchdown bomb. Uh, Cam says, I want Sauce Hamilton, our best defensive end available. Chavez says that we should look at uh, look into that punter from San Diego State, Ariza. A lot of people have been talking about that guy a lot. Well, he says, uh, who would you rather have uh, today, the original 20, Andre Waters or Dawkins? Both were very nasty. I like Dawkins a lot better. I mean, that was just me, though. Hey, Eagles, what's going on? I said, Joey, what's up? Good. Three days away from blood is boiling. Let's go. Appreciate your content, bro. No, appreciate it, man. If you guys haven't subscribed to AK Eagles podcast, subscribe to his channel. He covers the Eagles every single day. Does a lot of live streams. Definitely check him out and his content. Um, there's six said defense is illegal in the NFL. Gaming with Moose says, my dream draft trade is 10 and Jameson Williams and get McDuffie at 18. Jesus King said, he loves you very much. God doesn't want any parish, but... Uh, Wants all to be saved except his son, Jesus Christ. Don't reject the free gift of salvation. What is going on? Matthew Smith, your father must be so proud. What? <laughs> what? Hey, Eagles says, please don't forget to smash the like button. Every like counts. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Tay says, uh, D-Gun reported two positions. The Eagles value most is edge rusher and wide receiver, which could mean Jermaine Johnson and Jameson Williams. Oh, man, that'd be fantastic. I wouldn't mind that either. <laughs> I'd, be a, I'd be a total, I'd be a big fan of that. I'd be a big fan of that. I've had no problem with that. Jerry said, I didn't ask why you're an Eagles fan. I asked why are you a Sixers fan? Oh, no. I mean, I don't know. I've I've I've, I've been following the Sixers for a while because I really wasn't in the basketball. Like, I got into basketball probably like four or five years ago. So, I really – I didn't really follow basketball too much for years. I played it for a long time and played football for a long time but never really – watched it religiously but you know i i just i picked a team and i followed the sixers i mean and i that's the that's the team i followed a few years back so Todd said do you think falcons could pass on worse here i know that jets are going to take jameson williams at 10 uh 10 but if falcons passed and i think whatever jets don't take at 10 could fall to us at 15 i i think that's true whether it's cornerback could be stingley could be um could be one of those receivers in jameson williams or maybe maybe garrett wilson i i don't know but it's just, sorry, I meant uh, Kim Jurgens who are interested in the second, third round. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I thought you meant the, that other Jer- Jerigus or whatever his name is uh, that the Eagles have an offensive line. Yeah, no problem, bro. You're good, man. You're good. Brand says the Vikings want to move down. Matthew says you're an Eagles fan. You're a Dan's Giants fan. He must be so proud. Uh, I think he watches football, but he doesn't like, he doesn't watch it the way I do. He doesn't like, he watches every game, but he's not like, he doesn't watch the off season too much and stuff like that. Philly sports fans, I'll pick wa- uh, waters. Just taught tackled knees. Ken doc hall of fame. Jerry Armand says, what up, Joe? I'm doing whatever it takes to get sauce Gardner. Dude, I mean, you both. Ryan says always videos like always appreciate it, Ryan. City boy, what's going on, Joey? What was that, uh, Joey? Who was that sleeper running back you liked again? Hassan Haskins, or was it Kevin Harris from um, Idaho State or Iowa State? Uh, Mick Slummy says, "Yeah, hey, just join. Am I the only one who wants nothing to do with Jameson Williams in the first round? Probably not. You're probably you're probably one of the only ones that wants that doesn't want to touch." James and Williams. Bryce, what's going on, man? Jerry says if the Celtics and Sixers play each other, Sixers have no ch- – yeah, I don't think so either. I, I don't think they have a chance against the Celtics. Joey Shakes, you're smart, man. I started watching basketball 20 years ago again. Now I'm stuck being a Sacramento Kings fan. Yeah, it is what it is, man. It is what it is, dude. Everyone's got their different team. I mean, I would never be a Knicks fan. That's just me. But uh, Mick, Mick Slumpy, probably yes. 
Jason, what up, JoJo? What's more likely to happen, trade up or trade down? I think I could see them trading. I don't know, dude. I feel like they could trade down a lot. I think I have a better feeling about them trading down more than trading up. Bigger says grab somebody at pick 15, trade back with the 18, and get another day two pick. I mean, that, that'd be a smart thing to do, too. To get another to get another second round pick, get two second rounders. I'd be totally fine with it. All right, so Joey, are you streaming the draft? Okay, so there's 180 in the chat. I'm only going to go for a couple more minutes today. I want to go an hour and 30 minutes. Tomorrow we'll have another stream. We'll have like a two-hour stream tomorrow. And then Wednesday, I don't know what I'm doing. We might do a call-in. We might do something for with you guys because I know some of you guys really want to you know, come in and, and give your piece about what could happen in this draft. And then obviously some of the other news that could come out as well. So this is – we're going to go for a couple more minutes. And that's really it because I, I have some stuff to do today. So um, as of right now, 171 in the chat. Like the stream if you guys haven't. If you love streams like this, subscribe to the channel. We're Me and Philly500 are streaming from both channels. So if you're on your computer or whatnot, go on, open go, open up two tabs, support both of these channels uh, come draft day. We're streaming from both channels. So wh whether you you know put a comment in my channel or Philly 500s, it's going to pop up for it doesn't matter where it is. Um so we're going to do Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We're streaming the whole entire draft together. Sunday, we're doing a Philly shakedown to go over the draft. So this whole weekend from Thursday to Sunday is going to be kind of crazy. Um, so, yeah, that's the, that's what we're doing so far. That's what we're doing so far as of right now. So if you're, if you're a fan of these streams and you want to see more, we're going to be streaming like crazy, um, you know, this, this, this weekend coming up. So it's going to be kind of nuts. Uh, Chavez says, Joey, check out the car. Terry Cohen, 6'4", ran 4'2", 6'40", and a 4 a 2 inch vert. Yeah, there is somebody, somebody emailed me to actually interview him. I didn't get a chance to do it. There was somebody that knew Tariq Woolen personally um, that actually emailed me and say, hey, you know, I know this guy. Like, if you want him on your channel, you can get him on your channel for, like, an interview. I said, oh, that's awesome. I didn't get a chance to do it because I've been so damn busy. So, um, you know, it's unfortunate. Soon said, Joey, how much would you have given up to move to nine? I don't know. Depending on percentage of like what, what Seattle wants, uh, I don't know what it's going to take to move up to nine. I have no idea. G-Town says, uh, Stingley and Jameson, uh, there, I'm taking Stingley. I think the drop off the cornerback, more noticeable and wide receivers. EJB says, can't wait. There's six that I got into soccer during the World Cup. It was very weird to pick a team like, but 12 years later, I love Chelsea. Jay Koch, I agree, move back more picks. And from a financial standpoint, it makes sense. Tosh, I don't see the Giants or uh, uh, Giants or Seattle choosing Stanley. One sauce is gone, but I believe they have bigger needs. I think the ideal spot for Stanley would be 12 to the Vikings. So trade with Washington at 11. Uh, yeah, that, that's going to be a hard one to do. I don't know if you're going to be able to trade with Washington, so I'm not sure. He might say Shakes will be looking to clean the new Matt Corral jersey on Thursday. <laughs> g Ducky says, do it. Who that dude says, well, and UTSA is a beast who could fly. Greg said, Joe, you need an ex executive assistant. I, I definitely do. You buying a Matt Corral practice squad jersey, easy money. I'm not buying a damn thing. I ain't wasting my money on that. Baron says, think of the bright side, Joe. You can wear a Kelly Green Matt Corral jersey. <laughs> oh, yes. I get, I get the good and the bad with that. Or maybe a Philadelphia Stars Matt Corral jersey. Philadelphia Stars jersey, I, dude, I, I can't stand their name, and I can't stand how they look. They look like they look like the commanders, and their name is with the, with the stars on it. I, I can't. Uh, I can't even. I think they won a couple days ago. It's weird how they're all mic'd up on the field at the same time. Like everybody's mic'd up, and it's just kind of weird because you're not used to hearing that when you're watching football, which is kind of nuts, you know. But like, okay, cool, you know. I don't know what to think of it half the time, but it is what it is. Uh, but other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I want to go an hour and 30 minutes, nothing crazy today. Tomorrow, we'll try to do a two hour stream tomorrow. Um, a little bit longer tomorrow. And then Wednesday, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm either going to rest up the whole day because we're going to be streaming Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, four days straight. And it's going to be a lot longer streams. It's going to be like over 14 out, 15 hours of streaming in four days. It's going to be, it's going to be a long few days, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So, um, I'll talk to five and see what happens, but we'll be streaming from both channels, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, well, Sunday we're not streaming for both channels, but Sunday we're going to be together anyway for Philly Shakedown. So, um, we're going to be streaming from my channel, Philly 500 channel. So, it doesn't matter if you click on his video, uh, his stream or mine. It's going to be the same 
Um, both all the comments will be in the same chat. It doesn't matter since we're streaming from both channels. So definitely give both channels a lot of love. Um, and we're definitely gonna get this done. So other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Subscribe, like the stream if you guys haven't, and we'll see you on the next one tomorrow uh, on uh, Road to the Draft episode 18. We're getting close, and uh, we'll be ready. So you guys have a fantastic day. Yeah, Matt said I'll also be helping mod in those streams. Yeah, that, definitely. I appreciate it, Matt, very much. Very much, dude. Yeah, so I actually have Matt going to be helping me out with uh, help me out with the with the with the chat and stuff uh, that first night at least. So, all right, guys, you guys have a fantastic day. We'll see you on the next one tomorrow. Like, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Shakes what up? Follow slide. Peace out, guys.